All right, what's up, people? Welcome back to more Everton Career Mode. Uh, this is part number 10. We're into double digits now. Keep the support coming. It's been awesome since I've returned. The views aren't too high, but the likes have been really high, which I appreciate. Keep it coming. Keep it above 50 likes, and I'll keep this series going. We dropped down a little bit in the last part. It was a really entertaining part, and the games were entertaining, but we both of them were 1-0 losses to Chelsea and Liverpool. And it doesn't get any easier for us here in this part. We have Manchester United away and then Arsenal at home. So clearly a torrid run of fixtures, which is the, the run of fixtures that we actually have in real life coming up. So obviously not good. And we fall into the bottom half as well. So that isn't good either. We do have a game in hand on Brighton and uh, Newcastle. And we're only four points behind Newcastle, who are in sixth, which is the European Cup places, the UEFA... Europa League places, but I, I don't know is it just top five in this game for Europa League just number just fifth gets Europa League in this Because in real life, it's fifth and sixth technically usually because the FA Cup thing But anyway, let's jump in and uh, play the match against Manchester United away um, I, Oh, yeah, by the way, I just wanted to kind of show you guys the the transfer hub I know it's been a minute since we've looked at transfers but uh, these are kind of the three that I'm looking at to get. Three really young players. And uh, Dan James has a lot of potential, obviously. And he's his pace is off the charts. His pace is literally unbelievable. I'm surprised he's actually 22. I thought he was a little bit younger than that. But Haaland is 19. Mason Mount is only 20 as well. So there's a lot of room for improvement with those two. Um, if you have any other suggestions, let me know. Uh, maybe a right back or else I'm going to kind of look into recalling John Joe Kenny off his loan or maybe next season leave him out there on loan until next season and then uh, start to play him then because he has a lot of potential too I feel like John Joe Kenny and he's doing well um, out there as well. So let's jump in and play Manchester United and see if we can get a result. I'm going to play Mina over Zuma because Mina's in good form. Zuma's in good form too but you know what we're playing Mina. Should we play Sidibe? He's in decent form too. He's in up, an upturn of form. And um, we'll give Seamus Coleman a rest today. Other than that, I think we'll leave it like that for now. Yeah, let's leave it like that. Okay, let's go. Come on, Blues. We need a win badly. We can't lose three in a row anyway. We cannot lose three in a row. We beat Leicester away. And then we were kind of like doing okay. And then, you know, just two losses in a row. Obviously against great opposition, but... We need to bounce back against Man United here. And at Old Trafford too. The table Look at the pace on this young man. Really Look at the pace on this young man, Dan James. Dude, I was playing FIFA against my cousin yesterday. Uh, we were just having a couple of games while he was down here. And literally Dan James is an absolute Hussein Bolt freak. What is happening right now? Why is that on my screen? No, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Why is that happening? It's like a glitch. I can't see anything. On the sides, man. Dude, this is bullshit. I can't see where they're running or anything. Yeah, this is... I can't see. What is happening, man? Like, I, do I have to restart my game now? This is so stupid. This shit always happens to me. Fuck off. Oh, that's so lucky. You gotta be joking me. You have to be joking me. They didn't miss any chances. That was like their first real chance, to be honest. Look, Gomez tackles him, and it goes straight back to a United player. And then the rebound goes straight back to a United player. It's like, I'm never lucky, man. Oh, it feels bad. This is really bad, guys. Like, if we lose this game, that's three losses on the bounce. And I can't seem to get a foothold in this game. Man United's pace is absolutely ruining me. Like this Havertz fella. Look, he's Manchester just... United. Well, Guilfi Sigurdsson's not fast, but still. Here. Come on, Everton. I can still I can still get something from this game. That's yes! For him to chase. This might be an opportunity to get level. Come on! What a fine save. Are you joking me? Jeez! Come on! Oh, I can't get the ball in the back of the net the last three games. That's the problem. Like, I just can't get it in the back of the net no matter what. No matter how good my chances are, I got a penalty, I've hit the crossbar, I've done everything you can possibly do without scoring these last two games. Like, I'm just not scoring enough goals. It's as simple as that, really. I'm really not scoring enough goals at all. 
like, oh. What is happening? What the hell? Like, what the <laughs> I feel like crying. Andre Gomez. Really in the clear now. Oh, I should have gone in more. I don't know why I decided to take the shot early. I didn't think I'd have enough time, but I actually ended up having quite a bit of time, to be honest. God, that was stupid. What was that touch, it will be. Keen. Mina. Dominic Calvert Lewin. Sigurdsson. Yes! Skilfi Sigurdsson equalizes at Old Trafford. Come on! Yes! Let's go, baby. Well, this is what you call leading nice little build-up play from the centre-backs and a beautiful yeah, pass there from touch. Calvert-Lewin. A nice touch and a nice finish from your man, here. Gilfie Sigurdsson. Beautifully done, my man. Beautifully done. That is a perfect finish from the skipper. Let's go. Every manager he looks He looks nice with that coat there in the rain. And say. there's our man, Gilfie Sigurdsson, his second goal of the season. I think he scored in maybe our first game or something. He hasn't scored since, but there you have it. The fist bump for the fans. Uh, and Gilfie Sigurdsson has put us on level terms. Oh, yeah. By the way, guys, I do have my new camera now. I have it. I just don't have it set up yet. I'm waiting for my mount, and I'm waiting for my micro HDMI cable to connect it to the cam link. And then I'll have my new camera set up somewhere around here. It's going to be way better quality. Trust me. You're going to be impressed when we actually get that thing going. Uh, I should have it... On the 30th, maybe by the time I record the next FIFA video, which um, will probably be in a couple days, I'll have the new camera. So it's Jesse Lingard. Should be good. I'm excited about that. Quality upgrade, baby. Ball in the box. No. Can't put them in front here. What That's just happened? <laughs> oh my God! I would have been triggered. It's halftime now. I would have been triggered if that's how we ended the half, dude. If they scored there, oh, you would have seen me break something. My my scuff controller would have been out the wall right there. Bop. My man. I love Gilfie Sigurdsson. I know he gets a lot of hate uh, recently, but I love him. He was he was really good for us last season. I think people are forgetting that. Like he has been below standard this season, but I think he's been used as a scapegoat a little bit too much, to be honest. Oh, fucking disgraceful tackle. Send him off, ref. Harry Maguire, you're a disgrace. You know, I still have not scored a free kick in this game, guys. Which is kind of insane. I still haven't scored one. And Gilfie Sigurdsson stepping up to take this one. I think this could be more a Luke Dean kind of one. Lucas Dinier. It is an awfully long way out, but you know... Oh! That was going top corner. I put a good bit of spin on it. It was it was coming down, man. What a save from David De Gea. He had it covered all the way. Like, he, he didn't even die. I just don't know how to get power on the free kicks pretty much. I think you need to do like a knuckleball or whatever. Oh, what a goal! Andre Gomez has put everything ahead at Old Trafford. What a goal, too. Let's go! We're celebrating in front of the Man U fans. Kind of messed up, man. The Everton fans are right over there, though, going mental. Look at this. Hit back in by Sidibe. And boom! Absolutely class from Andre Gomez. And Everton take the lead. Things were looking grim for a bit there. But Everton lead at Old Trafford. This would be a monumental win in our season, lads. Like, huge. The theater of dreams. And that's his second goal of the season as well. Gilfie Sigurdsson and Gomez, the two center mids, coming up clutch United. for Everton Football Club. Shabaman scored in the last game as well, I'm pretty sure. No, not in the last game, but the last time he scored. Was that against Spurs? Or not Spurs, Leicester? Maybe? Now Marcus Rashford. Sheer raw pace. It's, it's awesome Rashford. to have a game that's kind of high scoring as well after. Oh! It's a very good no! What was that pass, dude? Please don't do this to me. What a challenge, Yuri Minna! What a challenge from Yuri Minna. That was unbelievable. And Dan James is coming off. And you're going to be coming to us in January, lad. Now, can he take them on? Oh, saved by Jordan Pickford. Come on, Pickers! My man. Matter looks really good in this, damn. Patient play from them. 
Oh, Gilfie went for top bins from range. But it's a good save from Davide. That would have been 3-1. That was going top corner for sure. I'm pretty I'm pretty certain that's right in the top corner. That's a brilliant save from Davide. It might have hit the crossbar, to be honest, but really good save. Really good save, David. Jabamin's open! What is up with the headers in this game, dudes? Terrific tackle. Into out of time, boys. Come on, hold on. If we score a last, if they score a last minute goal, I might freak out. Just take him out. Take him out. Yes, Tom. Your beauty. Now, Richalis. You absolute beauty. This is three points, baby. Let's go. What a win at Old Trafford. Come on. What a huge win that is on Legendary, baby. That should bring, boost like us into the top half of the Premier League condition. with Arsenal yeah, at home next. Back-to-back yeah, -back games. Sure that ain't Ole Gunnar Solskjaer either. Do they not have him in this game? Damn, well, let's go, baby. Game, My man, it? Gomez. Got himself a goal and uh, put in a really good shift. Yeah, Excellent he did. Performance. He did. Well done. Beautiful stuff. The theatre of dreams suffers at defeat. Dominic Look at that touch from Sigurdsson. That was perfect. And a beautiful finish. That's a class goal. That's a class goal. And Gomez's was unbelievable as well, to be honest. Two really good goals. To turn things around. The comeback was complete within eight minutes. Look at this. Bop. Well, I mean, one was before halftime. One was after halftime. But still, you know what I mean. Anyway. Perfect stuff. I, th I think overall we just about deserved the win, but it was it was a really good game. That was like probably the best game we've had this season, like in terms of entertainment value. I feel like that was really, really good. What do you think made the difference in today's game? Well, the thing that made the difference in today's game is that we were the better team. That's what made the difference. We created enough chances and the score could have been bigger, Jeff. It really could have. Did you have any doubts? They ask you the same questions every time, man. These are kind of boring, to be honest. I don't have doubts about this, as Marco Silva would say. I don't have doubts about this. Um, how difficult was it to black Man United's attackers from scoring? It was quite difficult because of their pace, really, Jeff. Um, it wasn't easy. But, you know, you've got to give credit, give credit to Man United for the way they said yeah, it wasn't easy no, to outpace him, that's questions. for sure. Thank you. But we got our team's morale up there. Good stuff. And uh, we're looking hot for the Arsenal game now. We're going in with some confidence. We should be in the top half. We are. We're up to 8th position now. And as you can see, um, we are only... We are only... Oh, Man City are now in 5th. We're only 3 points behind them, though. See? We're only 3 points off uh, the Europa League place now. And 2 points off West Ham in 6th. Which could get us a Europa League spot, I think, still. Liverpool lead the league. Spurs have a game in hand, though. So they could go top. Man United, we just beat them. And they could have gone within three points of Liverpool with a game in hand. But we stopped them from doing so. What is Gomez saying? Cheers for all the first team football I'm getting. Andre, I love you, dude. I'm proud of you, brother. He's very happy. Look at that. Ah, ha, ha. You love to see it. I love Andre Gomez, dude. I was watching that video yesterday that Everton posted. Literally had me tearing up, man. Legit. How come Richarlison isn't a promising player? And he's only 22. And Awobi is, and he's 23. Makes no sense. Richarlison has more potential than Awobi to be a better player, in my opinion, personally. Like, I don't know. That seems a little bit, a little bit stupid to me. All right, Schneiderlin has been officially loaned out. We will see you later, pal. Thanks for coming. We appreciate it, but, uh, you know, you're not good enough, Schneidlin. You're not good enough. So, we need a win against Arsenal here to break our way into the top uh, top six. Let's see if we can do it. Come on, Everton. Let's go, Blues. We have to play the same team that played Man United, right? All right, hey, Goodison's got to be bouncing today, lads. Come on. It's coming right up. Let's Everton go. Against Arsenal. Everton against the Arsenal. Tell us how this, this is a big game as well. Old Trafford was big, but this is Goodison Park. We drew our last game. Are we? Yeah, we've drawn and lost our last two games here, I think. 
We lost to Chelsea at Goodison and we drew with Norwich. So we need a big game at home here for the to send the home fans happy. Come on. Come on, Everton. Here's Herzl. Teammates getting out of the way because they know he can dribble it here. Fuck. Got him behind he's him. offside? No, he's oh, on. Dang it. Wow. I thought he was offside, to be honest. We need another comeback now, people. Shit. Nelly about a goal in the West Ham match. It's a goal for oh, Richarlison's in here. Four minutes, please. One nil. Great to have Alan Mac Richarlison. What a yeah, that save. tackle just took us out a bit. Paul gave us the wrong Everton. angle. This was a good tackle here. Yeah, see, it just gave the wrong angle. We didn't have much of a chance from there. We could have cut it back to Gomez. I need to watch out for those kind of passes a little bit more. I've noticed when editing that I miss kind of simple passes like that when I'm trying to shoot myself. Good catch. Usually they never catch them from corners. Oh, lads. Over the top of the defenders, and he could be in here. Oh, my God. You're shitting me. What a goal. What a goal, man. Jeez. That was unbelievable, to be honest. See them messing it up. It's good play, this. That's Arsenal through. are fucking tearing me apart. What's happening right now? At Goodison Park. It's an embarrassment. It's 3-0 Arsenal. Within like 35 minutes. That might have been the very worst half of football in FIFA that I've ever had in career mode. Like, not even joking, that's up there. And the Arsenal fans can be buzzing, but this is a, a sickening embarrassment for Everton Football Club here. An absolute embarrassment. And we're going to have to switch the formation and change a couple things, because this is clearly, very clearly not working. And uh, we got to change some things. Maybe 4-1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two or some shit like that, because this is not going well at all. All right, Gomez is going to come off. He's on a yellow card anyway. We're going to bring on Keane, and I'm going to bring on... Bernard for a Wobi. Things just need to change immediately. It's not happening for us at the moment, so. Promising forward play from them again. He's got it in behind the defenders for the attack. Of the yes, finish. okay, we're one back. Come on, team. They've scored one. Let's just go back to the touchline. Let's reset. Moise Keane scored one. And uh, we're back in this thing. What the hell, though? <laughs> that was so weird. This was a good goal. Nice pass from Jabamin and a good finish from Keane there to make it 3-1. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Imagine we come back, though. That would be incredible. Looking for a teammate arriving late. <gasps> come on, dude. Are you kidding me? You've got to be kidding me. That ball just got nipped away from his toe. Jabamin was about to score there. An Arsenal substitute who's getting ready. He might have put his Beautiful, Jabamin. The ball glued to his boots, it seems. Excellent work. Penalty. Oh, come on. Please let me score a penalty. I beg. I beg let me score this. Please. I think that's fair enough from the ref. It was it was a clear foul. Holy, let me score this, please, for the love of God. Well, different referees. Emery can't believe it. Sliding tackles. It was fairly dangerous. Oh my god, dude, I'm scared. I'm really scared. Great. Yes! Come on! Let's go! We're back in it! 15 minutes remaining, and Sigurdsson has given us another lifeline. Come on! Without turning a hair, this would be incredible. What a video this has been, man. 2-1 against United, and now it's 3-2 against Arsenal with 15 minutes remaining. And Gilfi has scored again. His third goal Very now. Come on, Everton. Fuck, dude. I literally let Lacazette have so much time there. I missed like three different tackles, and then he scoops it up. He has the time well, to scoop it. Look at this. Sidibe completely misses, runs past him. Minna, what is Minna doing? Like, Make the fucking challenge. Oh, we've done all this work to get back into this, and we let Lacazette do that. Like, come on. And what kind of a dive is that from Pickford, by the way? That's oh, pathetic. What is up with the size of that Asian face. woman's head? He can't believe what they're giving him Wait. There. You guys saw that, right? Great ball. Oh my god, it was nearly 
It was nearly 4-3. It should have been, to be honest. Ah, the Arsenal player just came in last second, done enough, I feel like. In goes the corner. That's oh! A good stop from the goalkeeper. All right, we lost, but we showed some heart. We showed some fight, at least. We beat Man United, but we lost Arsenal. And our home form is really not good enough at all. But what a video this has been, lads. 2-1 against United and 4-2 lost to Arsenal. I don't think we can, to be fair. Arsenal were completely dominant when they went 3-0 up. But it's just the fact that we kind of did get back into it. And then kind of threw it away again with a stupid, uh, a stupid thing like that Lacazette goal, which is uh, just a little bit frustrating, man. Just a little bit. But at least we scored the penalty, right? I know how to take the penalties a little bit better now. Oh, look at this now. See, it was pretty even in the end. Like Arsenal were dominant first half, but really, second half I was better. To be fair. To be fair, like. All right, let's advance, and that's uh. Not going to do a post-match interview for that one, but it was a really good game. I had a blast with that one. Hopefully you guys had a good time with this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. It's the best way to let me know you do enjoy the content. And I'll see you guys for some more FIFA 20. I'm having a lot of fun with this series now. So yeah, let me know if you want to see more and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. All right, so I just wanted to give a shout out to my members at the end of each video. Rob, thank you for being a member at the puppy level, which is the 199 level. And hey, Leanne, Pico, Daxman, Tiago, Game Riot, and Maximus. Thank you all for being members at the Hound level, which is the standard 499 level. And Outlaw and Sylvan Jamies, thank you for being uh, members at the Wolf level, which is the 999 level, which is the, the highest tier. So thank you all. Uh, I appreciate all of you. You are all my special little boys and girls. And uh, don't forget to keep it tight.